they also need to look at how they're talking about women. I mean, the, this bromance and this masculinity stuff, I mean, it, it, it borders on edgy to the point that it's going to make women uncomfortable. You know, you've got affiliated PACs that are doing commercials about calling Kamala the C word. Or you had speakers at Madison Square Gardens, you know, referring to her and her pimps. That is not the way to win women. That is not the way to win people who are concerned about Trump style. Why not just pick up and go to Pennsylvania and campaign for the former president? Um, I know you're going there for the Senate candidate. Look, as a candidate, I know the importance of not having people go do things on their own. And so, look, there's no bad blood between me and the president. So to be clear, they're barely using her at all. Like she was apparently supposed to speak at Madison Square Garden and then it didn't happen. And I'm sure she feels like she dodged a bullet there. Um, but anyway, I, I think she's right. She's largely saying what Megyn Kelly was saying earlier this week. Uh, both of them seemingly shocked to find out that Trump is running a misogynistic campaign. I guess they couldn't see that coming. Uh, but I do think that they're right that the strategy of just trying to squeeze the young bro incel audience for every last possible vote is tough because they're low propensity voters. And you are turning off not only women as she's describing, but in not using her, potentially turning off a large group of pro Haley voters who don't necessarily love Donald Trump, but maybe if she was a big surrogate, might be willing to go for him. And instead you have Harris trying to appeal to those same voters. So this just seems like a massive strategic blunder. Brad, I'm curious what you have to say about it. Um, yeah, no, they're they're alienating people like Nikki Haley in the final stretches. And hey guys, you don't have to put up with it. It's better for, if you liked Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley has a better sooner shot of being president of the United States if you don't elect Donald Trump. That is That's a it. good point. She could well win in four years as yeah. long as Trump doesn't. Because it would be an overt repudiation of Trumpism within the United States, a second failure of Donald Trumpism. And an opportunity for traditional Republicans to reclaim the mantle of what it means to bear that R on their, you know, in the center of their swastika. You know, that would be a pretty good ad to run in Pennsylvania. To the yes, they don't run any ad. The, they, the best ad I've seen in the cycle is Julia Roberts saying, Hey guys, it's okay. No one knows what happens in that booth. If you don't want to, you don't got to. And George Clooney's in them too. Ad. I gotta see this ad. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen it. But anyway, that's pretty good. You should film that, put it up on TikTok while you still have time. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?